I'm Portsmouth Block Native. I'm going to walk through how to add MEV Boost to your Avado node and connect Dreamboat, Block Native's MEV Relay. It's a simple process, so if you're using something other than Avado, the steps will be similar. First, I go to my dApps and select Manage Controls for my mainnet navigator. For the purpose of this video, I've disconnected MEV Boost. You can read in the logs for Prism ETH 2.0, Builder API Validator registration unsuccessful. I'll need to reconnect to MEV Boost. To do this, I go to my dApps to enable MEV Boost by clicking Manage Controls. You'll see here I've entered all the standard information for MEV Boost. You'll notice it enables using the Flashbots relay. Now I'll click Start to toggle the state of the package. The green notification tells me the action was successful, which I can validate in the log. Next, I click Restart to restart the MEV Boost package, and I get confirmation that the action was successful, which I can also confirm in the logs. You can grab the MEV Boost GitHub info using the link in the description of this video. Finally, I'm going to switch to using Block Native's Dreamboat Relay instead of the default one. To do this, I'm going to Environment Variables to remove the relay value and paste in the address provided in Block Native's docs. You can find this address in the docs link in the video description. Finally, I click to update the environment variables. Now you'll see I'm connected and listening to Dreamboat, Block Native's MEV Relay. Doing this will enable you and other validators to increase block diversity and increase redundancy so that you will always have a block to propose when the next slot opens. If you have any questions, please join our community on Discord.